Hey everybody, it's Mark Dwight here at Rickshaw Bag Works, and I'm here to take you through um, oh, a, a large library of fabric samples to help you select a fabric for your Moleskine folio. So 15 of you are going to be uh, customizing your folio, and I'll be making those as you tell me what fabric you want. So the, uh, the process here is we need to choose the base fabric for the folio, and then we need to choose a color uh, for the binding. So, first off, let's talk about solid colors. We have 40 solid colors, and you can get an idea how these colors are um, from our website. If you look at our zero bag, uh, you'll see a lot of solid colors for that bag. You can get an idea of some of the combos we have online. But to give you uh, some examples, here's our zero bag, and you'll see there's the base color, and then there's a binding strip, and that's the same effect you're going to have on your journal folio. Okay. And you can see over here, uh, we're playing around with colors for the upcoming Mac world. And so you see this sort of nanochromatic effect here, the rainbow of colors. So we have all of your basic colors, and then we have a lot of subtler um, greens, browns, grays, things of that nature. So uh, let's get a little close up on the colors here. And you'll, I'll hold it on here for a second. And if you see something here that you like, uh, we can, um, you can let me know certain kinds of purple or blue or red or orange or yellow, greens, grays, you name it. So you can be the judge there. Now, let's move on to some patterns, okay? So on our website, you'll also see a whole bunch of um, bottles to bags fabrics. These were the fabrics that we introduced uh, earlier this year at the TED conference when we sponsored that bag. And here is a whole array of fabrics. This is called Soda Pop. Kind of looks like bubbles exploding. This comes in one, two, three, four, five colors. This is called Bottle Bank. It's kind of like the bottom of a bottle. And this comes in one, two, three, four, five colors. And then we've got a couple of other patterns, and you'll see these on our website, pat different patterns and colors. So if something in this range interests you, this is the Bottles to Bags fabric, made from 100% post-consumer recycled beverage bottles. OK, so any one of these patterns and colors would be paired with a binding strip from this selection here. Once you've picked your pattern or your color, I'll help you out with the uh, binding strip and make a few suggestions, okay? So let's be thinking about what, what, first off, what's the base fabric that I want on my folio? All right, along this Macworld theme, we also did some uh, bags with suede covers. This stuff feels great, okay? And you can see here that we got it in the nine colors of the Nano Collection. So everything from a silver to a dark gray, purple, uh, blue, green, yellow, orangish, kind of brownish orange, rust orange, uh, red, and magenta. These feel great, so consider that. Also on that theme, we got a fabric here that's kind of velvety, plush, okay? Kind of like the seats um, at an old theater. Really great stuff. Again, in the same color selection, we've got a blue, a green, a red, a magenta, a, an orange color, and a yellow, okay? Wonderful feeling fabric. So if you really want something that feels great on your folio, this could be one of them, okay? Set that aside. Ah, the old standard. We do have some great denim, so we can do a denim cover for you. Or if you have some denim that you really like, you can send me a swatch, okay? And I can make, it, I can make the folio. Um, let me tell you something real quick. If you want to send your own fabric, if you go down to a fabric uh, discount fabric place, we've got a couple of them here in San Francisco, and you pick out an upholstery fabric, you need to send me a piece of fabric that I can cut to size. Now this is the pattern for the folio. You'll see that it's 13 inches wide and 10 and 3 quarters inches tall. I need an extra inch or so on each side just so that I can go through the cutting and make sure it's positioned properly, okay? So if you want to provide your own fabric, let's talk about that over email, and then we'll need a piece that's roughly 15 inches by 13 inches tall, okay? But you can send me your own fabric if you want to go find something special or if you have something already uh, special in mind. Um, okay, on this table I've also got some pretty extravagant fabrics. I have three just amazing silks. These are upholstery silks. They're 100% silk. They're ridiculously expensive, but 
for the first 15 in this project, if you want to select one of these, there's a purpley red one, there's a blue and green one, and there's this uh, kind of burnt orange green. They're absolutely fantastic. They have a plush feel with a silk background. Amazing fabrics, okay? So those are a couple of options. Underneath there, I've got these royal fabrics. There's a, a purple with gold and a silver and blue. Really great. These again are upholstery fabrics. Look like something out of, I don't know, uh, uh, 15th century France or something. Louis would love it. Um, if you look on our Flickr, you'll see um, actually the folio I made for my daughter for Christmas has this fabric. Uh, someone called it, said it looked like a bunch of pipe cleaners. In fact, it's a fuzzy, uh, a fuzzy nap here, and then on the back is sort of a, um, oh, a fine burlapy like fabric. Beautiful upholstery fabric. Uh, we have it currently in two colors. So if you like something with a purple and 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 a really deep red or this sort of magenta and orange, really cool. You'll see one of them on our Flickr. I'll send you that link. Those look really great. A couple more options. We've got this great Burberry. This is official Burberry fabric. I have it in three colors. Uh, here's the bolts right here. It's uh, sort of a black. There's a yellow and black, and there's this red. These are great. If you want to look like you just stepped out of the London fog, this is the fabric. And it's also got a great hand. It's really smooth, uh, feels wonderful. And it's got a waterproof backing, so it's uh, actually official Burberry raincoat fabric. Uh, one other really nice plush fabric. This fabric ha is plush. It's got these stripes on it. Really cool if you're interested in this. This is a really nice fabric. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, and then one last collection. Giving you a little preview here. This is a fabric that we're going to be launching in a couple of weeks. And uh, this was a special project. This comes in 10 different colors. They're all right here. It's this abstract circle pattern. Really fantastic. I have a folio that is uh, covered in that, the one that I showed you earlier. Uh, this is covered in the blue. So you can get an idea of what it looks like, okay? That's what the folio looks like, covered in the blue. And then we accented it with a, with a color of binding that. Uh, that is complementary to the pattern. So if that's something you're interested in, you can see right here what that looks like, okay? All right, lots of choices, an embarrassment of riches here. Um, have a look, get some ideas, and then we'll talk over email and see if we can't get to a final decision and get you a folio. Once you've made your, made your selection and we've made your folio, we'll photograph it, we'll put it on our Flickr site, and uh, in a couple of weeks, we'll have 15 new ones up there, and all of you will be happily testing our new folio. Thanks very much. See ya.